Okay, so um this is crazy. Okay. Um I don't even know where to start with this, honestly. Like let's just pull it up. Okay. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. <laughs> All I can say is um, we should be very afraid as women. And this is actually something that a lot of men try to warn us about. If we did not get our acts together, if we did not fall in alignment, this would be one of the most extreme measures that would be taken if certain things were not corrected, we're here now. Hold on, y'all. I, I just. <sighs> Ladies, y'all should be very afraid. Let's start there. Okay. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. This needs to be headlining news. Okay. It is real in the field. This has gone past passport, brothers. This has gone past men just ignoring women and focusing on themselves. This is a new level, a new extreme, okay? And to me, it really illustrates just how much a lot of men would just rather not deal with the women of today, especially because, you know, when it comes to a lot of them, you're not really getting anything in return. Now, shout out to all of the amazing women out there that would make great wives, great girlfriends, great mothers. Salute to you all. I respect you all. And my heart does go out to you all because a lot of you will unfortunately miss out on your husbands or miss out on men actually entertaining you or taking you seriously due to the fact that there are so many trash females out there that just poison the entire dating market and scene. Okay. Um, but this is what it has come to you all. Right. And, and let me say this. I think it's important to highlight this as well. And again, I mean, no harm. I'm just being honest. One of the main reasons that we have reached this level, this extreme level today is also due to the fact that when it does, when it did come to the authentic women, um, the women that would make great wives and great mothers and things of that sort, a lot of you all did not speak out against, you know, the women that were being, you know, very counterproductive to uh, healthy, balanced relationships. A lot of you all kept silent and your silence was compliance. And now, you know, this is what we're dealing with. This is why I was such a strong advocate for women doing things in a more fair, balanced, righteous way. I did not want it to reach this level that we're at now to where AI, hold on. Again, this should be widespread. So y'all like the video and share the video and make sure that you are subscribed. Amen. We are now at a level to where AI is replacing women with relationships, attention, like the whole nine, like we're being replaced ladies. And in the video that I'm getting ready to share with you all, the woman in the video actually tries to take, take a jab at the men. Right. But I'm actually going to take it a step further and highlight, you know, just how much this is not off base when it comes to the interaction or exchange between men and real women. Okay. But you all, we are now in a climate in a new world where artificial intelligence, fake robot women are replacing 
actual, factual, real life women. And I got to be honest and say, it is to our own doing. And the men try to warn us. Men try to give us so many opportunities to clean things up, to do things differently, because they knew that such extreme measures would one day, someday be taken. They knew that they were on the brink of just giving up altogether and just opting out. But again, we try to call them on their bluff. Oh, you're not going to go anywhere. Oh, I'll get your passport for you. Oh, you're not going to do anything. We don't need you. And you actually did. A lot of y'all women that swore up and down that you did not need a man, did not want a man, you were strong and independent and you can do it all by yourself. A lot of y'all are the same women crying, struggling, begging men to take you back, to forgive you, take you seriously. I promise I'm going to get into the video, but we got to paint the picture. We were given so many opportunities to clean these things up, but we refused. Now, this is what we're doing. Please take me back. Please take me back, please. Please take me back. Please take me back. No, the men are not taking you back anymore. The men are not taking you seriously anymore. This is the bet you have created for yourself. Now, let's get into this, you all, because this blew me away. Shout out to Bobby for sending me over this link. Um, when I saw it, I said, whoopsie. Because, yeah, um, ladies, you're getting ready to be replaced as far as your jobs. You're getting ready to be replaced as far as companions, the whole nine, okay? Let's get into it. And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Well, actually, she's not a model at all. She's 100% AI, and her name is Emily Pellegrini. Emily has reportedly earned $10,000 for her creator thus far, and a bunch of other accounts like these are making as much as 11 k plus per month. Here's what I think this means. Hot girls all over internet, now in trouble. AI is coming for you, ladies. Think about what will be disrupted. Modeling, why hire real models if you can do it all with AI? Acting, same question. No strikes, no aging. This is huge for the industry, even mine. In the future, we are going to buy from, become quote unquote internet friends with, and maybe even have real relationships in some ways with AI. And I think Emily is just one example of it. But you know, in the meantime, if you think your day has gone bad, at least you're not simping in the comments of a fake model. Shots fired. Shots fired. Now let's take this back and we're going to break it down bit by bit. Okay. Now let's blow this up for you all so you can see. In the background of her is a model, right? But this is not just any model. This is a fake AI, artificial intelligence model. She looks very realistic, right? And I'm pretty sure that she will inbox a man back. But hold on, hold on, hold on. So this woman is pretty much illustrating the fact that, yeah, these AI models will be replacing real women, authentic women, flesh women. Very soon, they'll, they'll be replacing you in all elements and aspects of your life. Let's listen again. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. This is breaking news. Well, actually, she's not a model at all. She's 100% AI, and her name is Emily Pellegrini. Emily has reportedly earned $10,000 for her creator thus far. And now, let's pause there. Emily is artificial. She's not real, right? And yet, she is making more money than a lot of you are making in two months, right? Listen, she's fake. 
and she's making real money, more money than you. A lot of y'all are out here struggling so much so that you have coochie coupons, coochie menus. Hold on. A lot of y'all are like young Miami and you're now having to sell your wigs, sell your clothes just to make ends meet. Why? Because a lot of men are checked out and done with y'all. The men are done, quote unquote, simping on y'all, right? They're done sponsoring lifestyles, especially for women that they're not getting any return on the investment for. Now, I got to go here and say this. A lot of y'all will say, oh, these men are crazy. Why are they cashing out on a woman, quote unquote, that's fake? Now, let's pump the brakes. A lot of y'all women are fake. Do y'all want to go there or is that being a little bit too real? No pun intended. A lot of y'all are just as fake as the AI females. Like the video, real talk. Like the video, share the video and subscribe, real talk. Everything about you is fake, okay? Your boobs, your booty, your waist, your nails, your lip fillers, your cheekbones, your lashes, your hair. Come on now. Do we do we really want to get into what's fake and what's real? A lot of y'all are living fake lifestyles. You're pretending to be very successful, pretending to live these soft girl lives. And again, a lot of y'all are being exposed left and right for actually having to, let's say, um, do some very strange things, okay? Just to, you know, make those ends meet. But according to you, you didn't have to do anything but relax and be beautiful. And that's why you are able to live such a luxurious life. But anyway, I digress. But I just find it to be not too far off that men are actually taking a liking to AI, artificial intelligence, when a lot of you real women are just that your damn selves. But again, whoopsie, let's lead it over there. Let's continue, okay? I thought that was very interesting to highlight the fact that these fake women are making more real money OK, then a lot of you women out there um, and to be brutally honest, a lot of y'all are just as fake as the artificial intelligence. But again, I digress. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's continue. A bunch of other accounts like these are making as much as 11K plus per month. Here's what I think this means. Hot girls all over Internet now in trouble. She said, what does this mean? Hot girls all over the internet, you're in trouble. Why are they in trouble? They are in trouble because these artificial intelligence females, right? They're going to be hotter than you. If we're really going to go toe to toe as far as who can have the most um, fake snatched bodies, oh, the AI is going to beat you every time. She goes on to talk about how they don't come equipped with wrinkles and cellulite and bags under their eyes. Like they can come as beautiful as one would like. Y'all are in trouble. Y'all, your whole livelihood is threatened, baby. But again, the men tried to warn y'all. Men said, give us something real that we can feel, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, energetically, give us that. That will make you irreplaceable. But a lot of y'all was like, um, nah, you ain't my daddy. 
uh-uh, I, I'm a boss. I ain't got to listen to you. I ain't got to give you. No, nah, I, I just need that real check. Stop asking for me to do stuff like now. Nah. Because a real man, he'll just do it just because. All right? Now those real men are dealing with artificial intelligence that is just as fake but realer than you. Let's continue. Y'all in trouble. All y'all hot girls, you in trouble, ma'ams. AI is coming for you, ladies. Think about what will be disrupted. Modeling, why hire real models if you can do it all with AI? Acting, same question. No strikes, no aging. This is huge for the industry, even mine. In the future, we are going to buy from, become quote unquote internet friends with, and maybe even have real relationships in some ways with AI. Now, th that's crazy. That's crazy. But is it? Is it crazy though? Because just to be honest, you are to interact with a lot of these um, human women. OK, uh, I'm just being silly, but I'm being for real at the same time to interact with a lot of these human women. You're better off interacting with an AI. You know what I mean? And this is coming from a woman that is opposed to this. Let's make that clear. I am opposed to this. I am an advocate for real men and real women coming together collectively as a unit and as a team and building together, establishing real life relationships and connections. I am an advocate for this. I am completely against this. Okay, let's make that abundantly clear. However, there are great arguments to be pointed out in regards to this. Is dealing with an AI female too far fetch when you're dealing in a society of a bunch of fake females right that are not giving you any return on your investment anyway like you might as well go and deal with artificial intelligence A lot of y'all are complaining about this. Oh my God, these men are out here doing X, Y, and Z. She even went on to say, oh, well, if you think that's bad though, but you know, at least you're not one of these guys simping in the comments of one of these AI models. Well, ma'am, for these men, and this is just for the sake of argument, for these men to go out here and simp in the real woman, right? The human woman comments that is a model, he's going to get probably the same type of interaction, if not worse. At least the AI is not going to comment back and degrade you and say, ill gross, you're so thirsty. At least the AI model is giving you something nice to look at, and that's really how she's made. Right. Somebody went online, went into a computer, logged in and made her that way. She is naturally made that way. <laughs> and I'm being silly, but look, for the sake of argument. Whereas these real authentic human fleshly women, they're docked it up on somebody's table and, and more times than not, they're botched. You know what I mean? So, I mean, come on, like, I don't know. There's some good arguments to be made now. Uh, let's continue, though. I think Emily is just one example of it. But, you know, in the meantime, if you think your day has gone bad, at least you're not simping in the comments of a fake model. Again, shots thrown. But a lot of you, oh, I, and I hate to be so real like this. A lot of the men that are quote unquote simping they're better off simping for an ai model versus a humanly fleshly woman because i mean at least he gets a lot more respect right at least you know he's getting something to where that's really who she is you know what i mean um at least she's not botched like there are some, some valid points and arguments that could be made. Again, and I'm somebody that's not even for this. I am against this. But if we want to be real and throw shots and throw shade, 
come on, the men are practically doing that anyway when it comes to the fleshly, humanly women anyway. Let's be clear. When these men are simping for humanly women, right, human models, y'all like the video, some real talk. Like the video right now. This is breaking news. When these men are simping, when it comes to dealing with humanly fleshly women, most times they are being met with, first things first, a woman that is not even presenting who she really is. So she's fake anyway. She's artificial anyway. And on top of that, a lot of these men are being met with a lot of resistance and a lot of disrespect from these women. And he's sending her money and sipping on her and he's getting the same thing that he would get out of the AI woman anyway. Right? Which is no humanly interaction, no connection. You know? No. Y'all know what that is. We got to watch out for YouTube. So, I mean... Are y'all really trying to go that route and say, oh, you know, at least you're not simping in the comments of an AI woman. Uh, it's giving the same thing, if not a little bit better on the AI end. Because like I said, at least she's not going to disrespect you, call you dusty, call you uh, broke, call you lame. At least she's not going to do all that. And like I'm saying, you're going to get the same bang for your buck regardless. So one could argue that the AI route for the men to take is better. I'm going to be honest, especially in comparison to the everyday average woman that you're being presented with. I'm not comparing in no way, shape or form an AI uh, model to a real life, authentic, genuine woman. Those don't compare. Right. Let's make that abundantly clear, abundantly clear. I am not saying that the AI women are better than the authentic, genuine women. No, but the authentic, genuine women are not reigning supreme. What's reigning supreme is the cash app coochie queens, the thotty thought cakes, the Instagram IG bots and models. Thoughts and model that is what's running supreme. So, if we were to put the AI against the everyday average, typical cash out coochie queen, right? IG thought one could argue that you would come out on a better end of a stick dealing with the AI. Just saying, argue with your mama, be mad at your mama, not me. Look. Let me ask y'all, because I know my brother's in the building right now. Y'all let me know. Would it be better, in your opinion, to deal with an AI woman to where, you know, she's not going to disrespect you. She's not going to talk back. She's not going to do anything remotely close to the amount of disrespect that you could receive for the from these everyday average cash out coochie queen Instagram thoughts and models. Come on now. Would y'all agree with that or would you say, uh, nah, you know. I think it's a valid argument that could be presented and made, even though I'm somebody that is opposed to this. I am not for this. But if somebody wants to really go there, they could say, well, I'm actually having a better experience dealing with the AI than the everyday average typical cash out coochie queen. Because I'm not getting anything out of her anyway. I'm not getting anything out of her either. So what's the difference? But I digress. Let's see what we're dealing with. So this is, you are... Uh, you know, an example of these AI females. Hold on. How's it supposed to feel? This is wild. Do y'all see this? She looks real. She looks real. 
And, and like I'm saying, I know that these men won't be able to caress her and love on her. We know that. But guess what? These men are also not able to caress and feel on you either. So, I mean, what's the argument? Oh, but she fake. Well, so is your whole existence. So is your whole body. You know, so so is your eye color. Everything about you is AI as well. So I'm just saying, this is not looking too good. It's not looking too good at all. You know, it, it's just not. But this is what y'all have created for yourselves. You know, y'all did this to yourselves. Now you have AI women out here replacing you in all facets of life, whether they be, you know, your modeling career, quote unquote, whether that be your acting career, quote unquote, whether that be your um, companionship with men all the way around. It's just looking like you messed up. But again, y'all, the men tried to tell y'all, the men tried to warn you that this day could potentially come if y'all didn't, you know, get in alignment. So this is what you're dealing with now. Um, before we wrap this up, I would love to take a poll and ask the men, cause I know they in the building before we wrap this up, y'all take this poll right now. Let me know. Would you rather deal with an AI woman or would you rather deal with a cash app coochie queen? Y'all let me know. Is it given the same? Is one better than the next? Um, and I should have actually uh, placed the poll earlier in this dope discussion. That way I can really get you all's um, feedback on it. But just in case you didn't answer that poll yet, go ahead and answer this poll. Um, and if you just so happen to catch the replay on this and you were not able to take the poll with us live, leave it in the comment section. Let us know, would you rather deal with AI females or would you rather deal with you know, the cash app coochie queen, real fleshly, lively women, you know, let me know. Or would you say, no, I'm not dealing with none of them. I would rather deal with authentic women. Or are you a brother that is completely checked out and done? Are you overseas? Y'all let me know. I would love to know all of the different perspectives on this. Because for me, this was very alarming and very telling. And I'm going to tell you right now, I was completely caught off guard. But Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with this? Let me know. Um, but I'm see y'all in the next up discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads. And ladies, please, we got to do better. We are being replaced.